count. It doesn't count. It doesn't count! We are back with the Coco Invitational. P. Castro and Miguel versus General X and Philip and P. Castro is kicking it off. Now, this is not your average 2v2 because one of their attacks has to be creative and the other one can be super try hard. So we have a perfect mix of try hard and real attacks but also creativity in the mix here as well all for one thousand dollars from our amazing sponsor clash ninja and we've got picasso he started with a skelly donut now he usually you see an inferno go down or so but it looks like he cleared the eagle artillery and the clan castle and he's already got the blimp into the town hall compartment he's using one invisibility spell to help make sure that the town hall goes down and he got some nice chain value in there which means he can clear up a little bit more around the outside but he secured that first star on the board now he's doing a bit of a hybrid but the difference here now is he's brought in some super miners in the mix here instead of regular uh, miners now we've got some cleanup on that north hand side which gives uh, p castro the funneling for his hybrid as you can see this gives a little bit of an l shape so they can go directly in probably to the scatter shot and then continue through to the infernos wrap their way around towards the south hand side and we'll probably use some heroes there to go and clear up the monolith on the right hand side because we might we get some interesting pathing. We'll see what happens. As you can see, we've got the Warden following and the Royal Champion in the mix with the hybrid towards that first multi-inferno. The King on the outside will pull that Royal Champion. So he'll lose a bit of health here, but it'll help get that down. We will have to pop that King ability soon. And as you can see, that Monolith does do a lot of damage. So he uses that Skeleton spell to distract those monolith beams don't want that on any of our troops or those heroes powering through now he's got that king ability active he rages himself up and paths towards that left hand side and the royal champion jumping directly over them and as you can see the queen on that left hand side she had the healer puppet so he didn't bring those healers that's from her ability but she's already oh i was about to say she's gonna go down she's low but the royal champion just saves her just in time and what an absolutely crushing first attack very well executed he picked it apart perfectly and is giving himself and miguel the perfect advantage after that first attack Philip is doing Zapquake Mass Giants. I think we've seen Giants before. Let's see how this attack plays out. The Zaps are used to clear out one of the Ricochet Cannons, which can target multiple troops at once because it bounces from one to the other. And we've got that multi-inferno down. We also cleared off the Eagle Artillery as well as a Rage Spell Tower in the heart of this base. Getting the Eagle Artillery down is going to be huge because if these giants group up because they go for those defenses, if those Eagle Artillery will, shots will be on it, it could be doing damage to a bunch of them in one go. Now, Queen did go to ability here already. Might be a little bit early. Oh, that's one of the good skins. I really want that queen skin. King is clearing up on the south hand side, which is forcing that queen to stay here, wrap around those walls and go directly for the scatter shot. Now we've got some more uh, help there with some of those giants around the outside of the base. At the moment, he's using these giants to alleviate some pressure off of these heroes. And as you can see, he's doing the epic Royal Champion charge. He's going through with those invisibilities. Unfortunately, the fox is already down. So usually you use the invisibility spells when the fox is not making the Royal Champion invisible so she can get some extra defenses down. Now, we had the walls open to the town hall compartment. However, the king did not get the town hall down. The town hall is still standing. He does still have a blimp and he does still have that warden ability to help out. He's also bringing in a bunch of wizards to help follow follow those uh, remaining giants. We're trying to clean up on that left hand side. I think that wizard was just in range of that expo. That was very unfortunate. Would have been an extra percentage in there on the left. Let's see how it goes. He changes the blimp up and he's actually using a siege. Now this gives them some extra tank value and some additional troops coming out of there, which are gonna help clear up 
a bit more on the right hand side so he's sending in all of these giants all of them directly for the town hall to get that town hall down we need that extra star we've also got that apprentice warden we're going to use the warden ability to help power these giants through the town hall there is a tornado trap holding them in place here now as that warden ability wears off they're going to stay here there is one healer trying to heal them up they're losing a lot of health here. There's a giant bomb doing so much damage there as well, but there's still a multi-inferno, which will absolutely melt the remaining health off of these giants. The scatter shot's still up. Oh, the one uh, Dragon Rider trying to get it down. We did get the multi-inferno down. Dragon Rider is now on the scatter shot. Headhunter on the outside helping will go down as well. But we're going to be stuck in this compartment trying to clear up. There's only a few defenses left on the north-hand side. We're in the 90s now. Nice try from Philip, but unfortunately, we're going to fall short here, which means P. Castro and Miguel will be having the advantage after the first round of attacks. Miguel is up next. What have we got? We got some rocket loons, some giants. We got some super barbarians in the mix here as well. One root rider, so that would be nice value to help out, to help open the walls for the heroes or for the barbarians. We'll see, probably for the heroes. We've already started a warden walk on the south hand side. This is usually to help clear out there. And on the complete other side, on the north, we have got the flame flinger now there are some expos and mortars here which we want to stay clear from with that flame flinger since they do outrange the flame flinger now with the warden as you can see he's got that rage aura on him which means everything that is in range will be doing some extra damage nice coco loon finding those seeking air mines as well as they path into this compartment and now by clearing out that entire left hand side and the south we've got easy access for everything here those troops as well as those heroes to path into the heart of this base to help clear it out now he's got the rage on the left hand side he's doing a clone in there as well which he did on the right hand side side already to clear out the scatter shot with those cloned rocket loons now unfortunately on that right hand side scatter shot still remaining but on the second try he did it and he got it done <gasps> oh no oh no he's lagging and he knows <gasps> oh no he knows he knows No, this is not, no, no, no. Do they pass through? Chat, tell me. Do they pass through and get the town hall? Oh no, it's gonna be a disconnect. Oh wait, he's done it. Ah, oh, he sees the Wi-Fi symbol, but he's got the town hall. He sees the Wi-Fi symbol. He's got, it looked like he got the town hall, but I don't know how it's gonna play out if he disconnects though. Let me see, does he get it? Oh wait, that's the wrong one. Oh, oh, he's going to the right hand side. I think he's got it. Ah, he's got the triple. If he, it should play through, right? It should play through. Should it play, does it play through or not? Does it count? Does it count? Oh my gosh. We'll see. We'll see. I've never been this nervous. <laughs> the queen gets through. She's got the frozen arrow, which is huge to help with those town hall beams. Flame flinger pops open. Gives us some super minions to clear up on the north hand side. Scattershot still remaining on that right hand side, but the queen, she can actually reach a little bit from that compartment. She's gonna take a lot of damage, will go down, healers will switch. Well, it means we have the king and royal champion to power through. We've got the rage, we've got the king ability that will go off here. King's gonna get those healers now from the queen that went down and then does the king get it done 14 seconds 12 seconds wait wait no <gasps> it 
doesn't count. It doesn't count. It doesn't count! No! And he knew! He knew! He knew as well. It doesn't count because you can see it. But he knew that it would have worked. He had the whole Royal Champion. He didn't get to deploy everything. General X. Now we missed the very beginning because we were watching the end of Miguel's attack. You know, we've got the Flame Flinger on the south hand side. We also looks like we had some Zap Quake in the Town Hall compartment. Which, what did it clear out? There's a Monolith missing. Probably an Expo went down next to the Town Hall as well. Probably a monolith went down in front of the town hall. Wonder how he got that. Now he's got loads of cleanup minions, which is huge. But he doesn't really have many troops left to deploy. Now we've got the warden ability going off, which will help on that right hand side. We've got the eagle artillery, which will go down. The royal champion and the king, they're getting that expo down. Royal champion can jump directly over these walls to get some of these multi infernos down. Now the flame flinger is low, but it's already targeting the town hall already, which should hopefully get that down. We do have some additional troops that will help clear up. We want to, to not really go for the town hall because they will uh, get some damage done by the Giga Poison, which is beautiful because he does actually have those uh, super minions in here, which means they can do some shots from far distance and avoid the Giga Poison here. Now we've got the queen on that left hand side. She has gone to ability, which means those archers are going to be able to tank for her at the moment. One giant coming in here for tank here as well. But unfortunately, this multi-inferno stays up. We're freezing this multi-archer tower because it can do three times as much damage as a regular archer tower. 28 seconds. Is it going to be enough? I think this multi-archer tower is going to be doing a lot of damage on the queen. She's not going to make it. <gasps> She's not going to make it. Oh no! This was so close because this was super low. Oh no, that's heartbreaking. This one cannon will go down. Actually, maybe not. Five seconds. The Builder Hut's repairing it. It's not going to be enough time to get it down. 96%. Oh no! Looks like we had loads of wall. Oh, the King Earthquake Boots. Gosh, I was trying to figure out everything going on. I missed the Earthquake Boots. Now, P. Castro, P. Castro and Miguel, they still have the advantage even after the triple, non-triple. Five stars to four. P. Castro is bringing in the bats. Eight bat spells. Now, he does also have a bunch of... Um, skeleton spells which will be interesting is he's gonna do a skelly well a bat donut no he has no invisibilities nope he's not doing a bat donut these are to distract the defenses now we've got the warden walk already going off on the northern side for cleanup and he's already sent the blimp in and secured the town hall nicely done already that is mean that means he doesn't have to worry about that giga poison from the town hall either now he's got a bunch of headhunters and he's got a bunch of golems. So he needs these heroes at the moment to get all of the splash damage down in preparation for these bats. Now, if you have a look, we want to get uh, the scatter shots down on both wings and we want to get all of the wizard towers down. The archer towers, they're probably less of an issue, but they're probably, they're probably problematic as well. I would try and get those down. Now we've got the king that pulled the warden from that right hand side and the queen on their right as well. Cutting the king off at the perfect time to make sure that P. Castro's king goes in for the scattershot compartment. Skeleton spell in here as well, distracting. And now the queen can go for those multi-archer towers. Now those troops, they do pop out here. And they're going to be a bit annoying there on the king because the king... Won't be able to get it done. The world champion is coming in here as well. Now, with the king being so giant, I can't even tell what's happening. What the single inferno is locked onto. I think there's some golems in there that are tanking. The monolith in here as well that we're going for, which means the Picastro has got another 
uh, scat uh, uh, skeleton spell to distract the monolith, and those bats are swarming in from that left-hand side. The golem is deployed on the left to distract both of those um, wizard towers, absolutely clearing that left-hand side. Now, we do have to be careful of the scatter shot here. We have frozen it. Once it's over the scatter shot, though, nothing can stop these bats. Look how many bats P. Castro has towards the end of this attack world champion ability going off we got the golems they're still alive they still had more tankage in them what a phenomenal bat attack from p castro you don't see bats too often but he really well identified there were three uh infernos on this base but he didn't even need the bats to go and clear them the heroes absolutely cleared those infernos off the base Philip is doing a bit of a botch. We got two Electro Dragons in the mix here, and he's got really nice usage from those Rocket Loons, clearing off half of the air defenses off of Picastro's base. Now, the Electro Dragons, they're actually going into that right-hand side, and he's using those Zap Quakes around the town hall, clearing the monolith and getting an invisibility spell tower down. Now, the Electro Dragons are taking a bit of damage here on the right-hand side, but they're distracted because, I mean, they're distracted by the enemy king, and the Eagle Artillery is hitting them hard, the Multi-Inferno in the mix there as well. I'm not sure how far that will go. Drill is going for this corner compartment whilst the Queen's around the outside, and he's using the king, and he's going into the heart of the base. Now, he's used the Warden ability, the king ability here as well. Going into the heart of this base with an invisibility in the mix there as well. We're going to absolutely clear the entire heart of this base. He did not get the multi-inferno down. Now, actually, he's being distracted still by those uh, clan castle troops, which means he's going to go down. He might not clear it all because of those ice columns. The ice columns were a problem here. Now, those we did clear the town hall. The drill gave us some additional troops there as we approached the town hall compartment. Now, as you can see where it went wrong, we still have this multi-inferno that was meant to go down from the um, Electro Dragons. And this multi-inferno and both of the cannons were supposed to go down from the king. The Royal Champion is now on cleanup duty. Now, with two spells and the fox still alive, this is going to be huge value still. As you can see, the fox is making the Royal Champion invisible visible whilst he does not have that invisibility down which is going to help push that royal champion a bit further we're trying to keep the fox alive here as well which means she'll go but unfortunately will go down to the expo i think the royal champion ability will help regenerate some health wall break coming in for some splash damage here on cleanup the yeti in the heart 45 seconds royal champion just misses the oh the expo which means it's just the Yetis in the heart. How much damage can they these Yeti mites do? They will get the Expo down. <gasps> oh my gosh, this is making me nervous. They're all pretty much full health. Now the problem is the Yeti has to go all the way around and will be taking so much damage before even touching these defenses and unfortunately two buildings will still remain 98 percent from philip nice try oh no eight stars to six pete castro and miguel have a two star lead now going into the final round of attacks now Let's see if Miguel gets a triple done this time. I really hope his Wi-Fi holds up this time because he's bringing in some Zap Quakes. Now, he's already shaking his head. I'm not sure why. Let's see what he's doing. He's got those Inferno Baby Dragons, which are going to help clear out some of those buildings around the town hall. Now, the town hall is active. Is that why he's upset? <gasps> oh, that might be why he's upset. But he's got it active now. The are mortars next to the town hall, which is not ideal for Flame Flinger. However, he's got a drill selected at the moment. Now, on the right-hand side, he's got... The Warden Walk starting off and he's Zap Quaking. He cleared out one of the scatter shots and an Inferno as well, which will help push um, on the right hand side. No! He made the town all invisible! <gasps> 
He was going to use the Inferno Baby Dragon to snipe the Town Hall. He does have one more, but he does not have another invisibility. He's trying to freeze. Rage it up. Just try and get it down. Now, it's a lot of spell value, but he's secured the Town Hall. Is it going to cost him by investing three additional spell space to get that Town Hall down? One extra Inferno Baby Dragon. We'll see where that paid off. Maybe to cut off these uh, giants pathing in here as well. The Oh, the Giga Poison is going to do so much damage here as well to all these troops pathing through into this compartment. The Eagle Artillery is hitting hard as well. Oh, let's see. Warden Ability does have to go off early. Now, he's got the Warden Ability, which is making everything immune. And he's also got the Rage. So the Rage is going to make sure everything's doing a lot more damage. Now, I wish he had the Heal one on here as well because... Getting all those giants back to full health after that would have been really nice. We don't have a rage in here either. I think we've lost all of the giants in this compartment, which leaves us just with an Electro Titan and the Queen. How much can he get done now? He's trying to distract the Monolith with that skeleton spell there as well. We're trying to break through this base. Would have been nice one extra Root Rider to help clear into that heart of the base. We're going to get that monolith down. The king will go down. The royal champion's trying to help out. Look at the amount of skeletons here, though, distracting the royal champion. And throughout the time getting those down, they're just taking a lot of damage. Now, the drill's coming in on the left. They're trying to meet up with these heroes towards that compartment there. Queen still has healers, but the problem we have now is there's only 15 seconds on the clock. Only 15 seconds on the clock. Queen has her ability roll champion as well, which will help regenerate some health. But time is ticking out for Miguel. Nice try. Honestly, not a bad recovery. He was shaking his head from the very beginning, but leaving only one corner still left. And to be honest, he would have cleared out quite a bit more if he had some additional time. 77% two star here for Miguel. Now that puts them at 10 stars, which does secure the victory for them. But we have one final attack coming in from General X. We'll see what they do with Rogue Creative because the prize pool split is a bit different. We got first, second, third, but also $250 goes to the most creative attack. Now that is more than the individual cut at first place. So these teams and these players are put up with a bit of a predicament. Do they go creative and go for that creative prize pool? Or do they want to go to the very end and nab that first place prize? General X is using some rocket loons to clear out the um, air defenses off of P. Castro's base here. And he's got a few of those uh, seeking air mines stopping them in the way. He cleared them out on the south. However, there is one still remaining on the right. Now, he's used some zap quakes here as well, clearing off the multi-inferno and getting some damage in the heart. Unfortunately, the eagle artillery will regenerate health, but getting that uh, poison spell tower down is going to be huge. Now, he's got the king going in for the uh, air defense on that uh, right hand side and he's got more rocket loons on the north to help get that one down from the north hand side absolutely cleared it out beautifully now this is very interesting because he has a bunch of loons and a bunch more rocket loons still now we have to see what happens with those heroes he's got huge plans for these heroes as he sends the king into the town hall compartment he has already gone to ability though and he's already being revived so General X's king won't survive all the way to the town hall. So he's got those rocket loons powering directly over this wall into the town hall compartment to secure the town hall. Royal Champion, she cleared out that scatter shot on the right and he's using those invisibilities to keep her going to get this multi-inferno down. That is exactly what he needs to get down for these last few loons. He still also has a blimp. Where's he going to send the blimp from? He's actually sending it over the uh, single inferno and he's got a bunch of minions they're not even super minions they're the regular minions being cloned up in here getting the inferno down they're frozen in their path from the clan castle troops but they shall continue and those regular minions they will even go for this 
um, Eagle Artillery, a few loons helping them out. Clean up on that left hand side. We do still have the Queen ability. We still have the Warden, which he's sending in with those last few loons on that right hand side. Unfortunately, not getting them all in the mix here. He has got the double book, so he's got everything. But wait, how many loons is it though? He's using the Warden ability on. <laughs> Three loons to heal them up, but also make them immune. I don't think it's going to be enough in this compartment. Time ran out here as well. 84. That was a very interesting attack. <laughs> very interesting breakdown. The 25 minions in the clan castle. It was really nice there for that left-hand side, though. 84%. Unfortunately, not going to cut it. 10 stars to 8. And Castro and Miguel take the victory.